Well, it was a Will Jarvis goal on the stroke of half time, which was the difference. As Shelburne overcame Cork City 2 1 at Talca Park this evening. Chelsea are the better, especially through Paddy Barris, who had a couple of chances early on, testing City goalkeeper Ollie Byrne, who was more than up to the challenge. City's first real chance of the game came in the 22nd minute through Mac Deutzeel, but his effort was blocked by the Shells' defence. And it, it was the host who got the breakthrough in the 28 minutes when Jack Moylan got on the end of a well worked move uh, from Harry Woods Cross in the end to make it 1 0 to Shells. But City, to the credit, responded in kind and equalised and with a goal of their own in the 36 minutes. Rory Keating converting from the penalty spot to make it 1 1. But just like last week, History would repeat itself for City as Shells struck at the desk in the end of the first half. A devastating counter-attack ended with Will Jarvis sticking the ball home in the back of the net to make it 2-1 at the break. And the second half started uh, in more of a quiet fashion compared to the first. City uh, trying to get that all elusive equaliser. Uh, but outside of a couple of half chances for Rory Keating, they were unable to really create anything of note. Uh, Shells, their best chance of the half came in 66 minutes. And it was, uh, again, uh, through uh, Jarvis at uh, this time as well. He, he was trying to get his second goal of the game, uh, but was unable to do so. And it was a, a very interesting duel between himself and Ollie Byrne all night long at Talca Park. As City rang the subs in the last 10 minutes as Liam Buckley uh, threw everything at the game, but it wasn't to be for Cork City. Shells would hold on for the three points and keep their hopes of European qualification alive. As they finish full-time at Talca Park, Shelburne 2, Cork City 1.